When you're on there, you don't think about anything. You think about racing and getting around the corners. Everything else in your mind is just gone. You're having fun with the guys. You just, you, you just enjoy it. It just takes everything away. My name is Derek Bessie, and I'm an amputee, and I'm into race and driving on the computer. Even though I don't have my right leg, I still use my left on, on the brakes and pedals, and, and I can drive pretty good. The other guy's advantage with their two legs is uh, they do what you call trail brake, and they can have one on the brake, one on the accelerator. And so using the brake and the accelerator gives you better control in the corner, plus you can come out a lot faster. Me, it's either on or off with the foot. <laughs> Once you get in there and, and, and you get the hang of these cars, it's getting down to being as, as realistic as it can possibly get on a computer. The steering wheels you get now, you can feel the car, you can feel if it's, it's going. You really have to set them up for it. And when you get on these, you'll come off sweating. The adrenaline goes, it's so much fun racing with the people next to you. The Outlaws boys are uh, some of the top racers in there and the, the boys are pretty good racers. They don't knock you off or anything, so you can race side by side. These drivers are really good. On a Friday night, they have a, a, a Friday night fun where we all have a drink. It's the only thing you can have a, a, a drink with and drive with too and have fun without getting on the road. <laughs> Even if you've got that day where you're thinking down or you're doing this, you think, ah, get on the computer with the boys and it's gone. You're talking, you're racing, you're practicing. It, it gets you out of that little depression if you've got it. I mean, and some days you do get it. My apprenticeship is a sheet metal work and um, a lot of air conditioning buildings in Canberra I built around the place and then the company went broke. So I ended up going with Australia Post and I was with them for 23 years. And uh, eventually my back put me out of work, um, which I couldn't, couldn't do anymore. And then later on, um, my circulation was starting to go, um, which is the heavy sport too, playing soccer. And they tried to bypass on me. Um, and the bypass didn't quite work. So it ended up with me having to have a toe off at first. And then my foot was going black and blue and all colours, like it, it was dying from no blood. So they did the toe and they said, walk around for a while and see if you can get circulation back in. And, and that didn't happen. Um, I tried for a few while, but it, the pain was that bad. I had to end up saying, you got to take it off. I can't handle it. Huh. Anyway, at that time, the leg came off and I was really happy because I wasn't in any pain. And my whole attitude was, okay, it, it needed to be done. So let's get it done and try and get on with life. It, it was pretty hard at first. Even though it's happy being without the pain. And then as time gets on, you sort of think, your mind says you can do these things, but your body says you can't. And it gets you down. And the wheelchair becomes quite a hassle sometimes trying to get around. It's a pain in the backside. There are times where you sit here thinking, wow, what, what am I going to do? Is this it? Is this the end? What, what, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? Like, and. Um, so you come across a few things, like I do my sim racing, where I can talk to people there when I'm sitting around feeling lonely. Yeah, so there's always someone there you can talk to and uh, get your mind off things. Some days are hard, but you just got to push through it. It's, it's what I say, I've got uh, a daughter who's just about to um, go into theatre 
Uh, I've got a son who's around. So you've just got to keep yourself around for these people, you know. You've got to think about that as well, not just you, yourself and your life. I'm on medication and it helps, but I'm on for pain and depression and that, of course, because uh, pain will bring depression if you've got it all day, every day. So, but yeah, things, things are, are good. You've got to make them good sometimes. It doesn't just fall in your lap, eh? <laughs> yeah.